The North American Big Three could be facing a little competition from a handful of Canadian inventors. They're each vying to create a new generation of viable, super-efficient vehicles and grab a $10 million prize in the process. Lindsay Duncombe has the story. We only have so much room uh, before the brake has to activate. These men in this Winnipeg lab want to change the world. This is for our kids. That's what it's about. Or at least change what you drive. We're not reinventing the wheel. That's the one part we're not reinventing. What are you guys in agreement with the pedal? The third pedal? Their creation? The Irby, a tiny aerodynamic hybrid designed to get twice the mileage of a Prius, and it's competing to be the car of the future. If you own an SUV, you're going to burn this much gas a day. If you own a Honda or a small sedan, you're going to burn this much fuel a day. And with our car, you're going to burn this much fuel a day. The Irby is one of 43 cars from 10 countries selected as a finalist for the X Prize. It's the same foundation that sponsored the competition for the first private space launch. Now, XPRIZE sponsors, including businesses and the U.S. government, are putting up a $10 million prize to find a super-efficient car that's safe, affordable, and easy to produce, something people would actually drive. And Winnipeg's Little Irby has big competition. You'll have to bleep this, but I'm scared shitless. <laughs> India's giant car maker Tata is in the game with the efficient Indica Vista. Then there's the Zap Roadster from California, a 100% electric three-wheeler with a projected price tag of 35 grand. And imagine driving to the grocery store in this, Thailand's Spira. It's foam and part boat. But this guy just might be the one to beat. The Avaro is one of five Canadian entries, and Popular Mechanics puts it in the top ten. So we had the University of the Fraser Valley here locally verify the numbers that we're claiming, which is 165 mile per gallon equivalent highway, 275 mile per gallon equivalent city. Okay, no wonder the Manitoba guys are a bit daunted. Still, they're confident. What do you think your chances are? Pretty damn good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all in the design, and despite that fuel efficiency stuff... This should be quite a bit of fun to drive. The X Prize will be awarded next fall. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Winnipeg.